Hello, welcome back to another episode of Westerners in Trouble at Altitude. We're actually on our second day at the Valley of Flowers. The first day was pretty much a write off thanks to headaches and just not feeling too good. It's raining a bit outside now, but we're going to attempt to tackle it again. Ellie's struggling just going up the stairs and I'm struggling just getting out of bed. So I don't really know how this is going to go down. And I don't know how much of it I'm going to film because of the rain. Uh, that looks good. I hate the fact that I have morals and you can't just use a horse, you know. Just look out the window, read that, and then... There we go. I'm possible. <laughs> that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> now I'm stuck already. You can do it. I feel like a butterfly. Very graceful. Oh, yeah, good. yeah, man, that's good. Oh, that's bad news. No, nah, it's the bad. <laughs> you don't want to do that for a month. Ponchos, which are made to be notoriously large. <laughs> We've had too much. It's quite tight. I've had too many apologies. <laughs> oh, man. So, this is all we need. I don't even know if it's fully raining anymore. I don't want to wear this. <laughs> Help me out. Uh. <laughs> You're laughing to stop a gun How you feeling, Max? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Crazy views. And that is the mountain that we can see from our bathroom window. I'll show you later on. But this, this is the Valley of the Flowers. Where we are is just... It's a crazy place. It's actually ridiculous how close that is now. Been walking for about four hours and the reality is we only just made it to the start and we don't have enough time to go in. We thought it was supposed to be a three kilometer walk, it was so much more than that. I feel like we've been lied to. And the way that I feel right now after eating probably no more than 1200 calories in the last two days most of which came back up again pretty quick with the altitude as well I've never been this high up in my life I didn't even know there was this much earth this high up it's crazy if I find out how high up it is I'll stick it on the video now but it's been ridiculous there's been so many times I thought I was going to pass out so many times I thought I was going to fall over I have hamstring cramps it's been dreadful, but for the view and just the fact that we did it, it was worth it. I didn't really feel much on the way up because I barely had the energy to just put one foot in front of the other. And to be honest, I needed my hands in case I fell flat on my face. But if I was to try and describe how I felt, it would be this. A couple of days ago on that Jeep ride, on the first stop, I went into a toilet to throw up. And it wasn't even a toilet, it was actually just a hole in the ground. But in that hole in the ground was a little skid mark. Now I'll be honest, there was multiple times coming up this mountain that I ended that skid mark. So I'm happy to be called skid mark from now on, just as a reminder of this day. I'm pretty proud of this achievement and I think a name like skid mark really sums it up. We're heading back down now, so I'm going to put you guys away because I'm sure we're going to need my hands to stop my face from hitting the pavement. Hopefully I get down in one piece. Oh, it was good to be back to civilization and a good old lung busting. 3,049 meters. 
Yeah, these stairs do not look good right now. Oh my goodness. As I said that, I burped and I felt like a little bit sick came up. <laughs> Just eat some because I'm going to get dinner. Yeah, let's go get some soup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. You walk past your shoes. No, I'm not. There's a dish called Mutter Mushroom. Ah, welcome back to another day in paradise. I'm riding solo today. Early's gone back to the Valley of Flowers. I. Yeah, I can't do anything. My head is just pounding. I did go get some drugs though. Check these out. Look at these little chaps. They're gonna save me. Today is our last day here. Thank you heavens. Although it does mean that we have to do that seven and a half hour hike tomorrow. It won't be seven and a half hours because it's pretty much all downhill. But honestly, I have no idea how I'm gonna get it done. My head is just... Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. Go travelling, they said. You have the time of your life. <sighs> I've definitely had better. Can't even see the top of those mountains that we were at the other day. <coughs> okay, I think we're good. <coughs> okay. So... Today is the day that we're leaving this place. That seven and a half hour hike that we did the other day. We're doing that in reverse, so it should be quicker. I've not felt this bad ever, I don't think. But I need to get out of here. I can't just stay here being sick. So, not really much choice. Gonna miss this rock solid mattress, you know. My little sick brick. It's been good my little drug pill tablet things uh, really not looking forward to lugging this anywhere I can barely carry my body weight look at that that is a TripAdvisor sticker so the hotel we are staying at is the Sri Nanda Lokpal Palace they've honestly treated me so well I know it doesn't look like it because I still look like crap but they've helped me out so much if you could go on TripAdvisor and give it five stars, almost as like a your kind of punishment for watching me just suffer, then that'd be really great. But yeah, if you ever get the chance and you're just hanging around Valley of the Flowers, check them out. They're really good. The buckets of water for 50 rupees, they're to die for. So do you guys remember what I said about getting here in that seven and a half hour walk? That you could either get a helicopter or a horse? You could just not be a little bitch and walk. Yeah. Well, I guess this means that for today, I'm a little bitch. Get on camera again. Oh. Hey. <laughs>
half time break on the old mountain. Nothing quite like a sugary drink and a chocolate bar to really perk you up. I may be ill, but I still got it. I'll be brutally honest, the only reason I bought this chocolate bar was because of the name and I can make that joke. I would say commit to the content, but if that's not already clear then that's your problem. How's that for a view by the way? I wonder if they like that or not. How's this for irony? My horse is called Bubbly. I've got to say, he really lives up to his name. Quite like the name Bubbly. It's a good name. Bubbly Skidmark. So the more I ride this horse, the more I think about Lord of the Rings. First one, where Frodo's been stabbed and he's looking kind of pukey and useless riding that horse. Kind of sucks because I almost saw myself as like a an Aragon, you know, real strong chap, the leader type. <coughs> I think maybe there's a weak hobbit in all of us. I'm on shore now. One thing I'm certain of is that my one ring has been well and truly destroyed. You're welcome. How you doing back there, pal? Been better. See you later, Bubbly. You've been so good to me. I think I preferred the horse ride. Hold up, early. Got a bloody cow situation. Oh, there he is. It's connected. It's connected. I haven't got any messages coming through. Either it doesn't work, or just no one's messaged me. Is it connected? Oh, wait, 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 this is connecting. Come on. Give it a minute. Thought we had Wi Fi, didn't we? <laughs> it's not working. It just keeps saying connecting. First world problems. Oh, what a bloody luxury. That's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, man. What the hell is this? Toilet roll? Yes, please. Oh wow, how would you like that? Well, all my prayers have been answered. It's been one hell of a journey, but I'm pretty sure this is a good place to end the video. You guys can rest easy knowing that your old pal Bubbly Skidmark is safe in an environment where if anything goes wrong, he can pretty much look after himself. We've got a 12 hour bus journey that leaves at 4.30 tomorrow morning. That should be fun, but hopefully we're doing it in a little bit better state than we were last time. As always guys, if you enjoyed watching the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got something to say, I'm sure you've probably got a lot to say. Leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to see more of this, then one, why, but two, make sure you subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.